He's with our own Christine Coupo. Uh, guys, it's so good to see you. Uh, Friday the 13th is very unlucky for some people, but not for you guys, is it? Uh, I think it's quite lucky. I have even got my Lucky 13 bracelet on today. Uh, however, I don't know that he's the luckiest of 13s, but he's certainly the most talented. With me, I have Alessandro Nesta. Um, can you explain a bit? I know it's maybe a bit more of an American superstition, this 13 thing, this whole tredici, venadi. Uh, why the number 13? Hi, guys. Um, I, a long time ago, when uh, I was uh, 17, I went to with the first team. But all the generation, you don't, in the locker room, you can't choose. They, all the players say, OK, this is your number. <laughs> don't talk about if you want something different because uh, was different uh, era. So you just kept it. Yes. It became uh, yours. The old uh, players to say, okay, this is for you. Okay. Maybe they were right though. How many, by show of hands in the studio, uh, like how many of you are on Pele's top 100 living legends list? Uh, that's kind of an accomplishment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we are here in Philly uh, at the uh, United Soccer Coaches Convention. Uh, uh, is this your first time in Philly? Alessandro? Uh, convention, uh, soccer convention, yes, but I play here when I played in MLS uh, ah, a long time yeah. ago. Good old Montreal days. Yeah. So uh, what have you gotten done here at the convention today? What do you think? Oh, it's beautiful. It's an uh, amazing place, uh, a lot of people. Uh, it's, uh, you, you smell football everywhere. Uh, this is, for uh, sure. And you are an active ambassador for Serie A. Yeah. Um, what are some of the initiatives that you find yourself working on or today? Yeah, no, it's uh, for me, it's a pleasure because I represent uh, Serie A and I was in Miami every day with the family. Sometimes uh, it's good uh, to go <laughs> because my wife uh, sometimes say, come on, you have to go somewhere. And uh, no, I, I love this place. I love uh, to stay with the soccer uh, people. It's okay. We have uh, one very, very big thing that's brought us together today, and that is today's massive match uh, between Juventus and Napoli. Uh, what do you think is going to happen here today? We kind of have this first and second place clash of the Titans, very different playing styles. We have a very defensive uh, Juventus side, a very attacking Napoli side. It looks like the lineup that Spalletti has put out today seems like he means to do business. Uh, what's your take? I think uh, it's going to be a tough game for both of team. Uh, I, I love uh, to watch uh, Napoli than, uh, more than uh, Juventus. I think today Juventus uh, play everybody back because they are scared uh, of uh, Osimene. Rugani Osimene, no chance if uh, you have too, too much space uh, back to the defense line. And, uh, and maybe in counter-attack, uh, Juventus should try to score. But uh, I don't like this. this uh, no? no? So from, from one of the best defenders to ever play the game, how do you see Juventus' style playing out? Is it something that you favor or you'd like a bit more excitement like a Napoli side? If I, I think uh, if you want to win uh, the Scudetto, you want to play higher, to, with the defense line higher. So keep pressing. Yeah, to take uh, some risk with the defense because uh, they, are, they have uh, good defenders. And uh, that's it. If you are on the bottom of the standing, OK, you can play like this, everybody back. You are Juventus. For me, they have to play a little bit better. They, they, the supporters, Juventus supporters, deserve to, to see a better football. I think I agree with you. I think they need to regain a bit of that Juventinita identity that they once had. Um, before we uh, get to a bit of a prediction, uh, is there anything else, uh, Poppy, that that you wanted to hit us with here in Philly. Any questions? Oh, there's so many, Christine. <laughs> I was actually just in Philly last night and I didn't get the chance to try a Philly cheesesteak, but I do want to talk to you about ranch because it seems to be a bit of a hot topic around here because we sent Marco over to Ooh. Turin and he asked Weston McKenney, um, well, Weston McKenney's love for ranch really sparked this. <laughs> so he went around Turin then asking the locals <laughs> to try it. and. Uh, how did they react to it, Marco? They didn't actually like it, did they? No. You, okay, oh, so this they? is what it is. The people who tried the ranch, somehow they liked the ranch. The people, did, a lot of people didn't want to try it. That's what they, they told you. It, That's what they no, told you. Bro, listen to this. You're like a car we, we salesman. At, you know, try we, it, try we it. at a pizzeria, and we brought two options, because in case they didn't like the ranch, they yeah. kept eating the one with the ranch instead of the good one. Okay, well, guess what? We got... Nesta, Alessandro, Alessandro Nesta, to try it. What <laughs> did you think, Alessandro? Did you like it earlier on today? Come on. Uh, for me, terrible. 
<laughs> terrible pizza with uh, I don't know what uh, inside there. But uh, if you go in Italy and you put on the pizza this, uh, you risk your life. Uh, trust me. Yes. Oh no. I want to see this. No, I, I really don't. <laughs> oh. oh, Alessandro. This come is on. blasphemy. Why would you even do it? <laughs> No, I don't know, I don't know. He was a good sport about it, although I think we apologized to our collective families right before we did that little cheers and, <laughs> and dove right in. I will not be revisiting it. I give this like a negative five out of 10 for ranch on pizza. I don't think that Alessandro will be trying it again anytime soon. Uh, yeah, it's a crime. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's not possible to eat. Uh, pizza is pizza. You don't have to put uh, a lot of things uh, on top. <laughs> Yeah. You heard it. Pizza is pizza. You have to say. You're gonna. Are you gonna listen to Alessandro Not Nesta or Marco Messina? Come on. Yeah, I, I know who I'm gonna be trusting. Uh, that's for sure. And he's not sat here oh, at hold this on. desk. I don't like the ranch on However, the pizza. Let's make that very clear. It was awful. Well, what would you have ranch with then? Nothing. Nothing. I've never had ranch. That was the first time I ever tried ranch. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna have to try it. Yeah. 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 Ye